guys, this is Keith with KJE Aquatics. Uh, I have a box in. It's not Monday, but Tuesday. They weren't able to get this out to me for Monday due to COVID. There was no flights coming into uh, to my local airport. So instead of doing my weekly unboxing on Monday, now it's Tuesday. So anyways, got a, got a box of plants in. Not a lot of stuff. Got a couple special orders of uh, pond plants that were requested from uh, by some local by some local customers so anyways I'm gonna try to make this quick because I actually got some stuff to do after this so let's go ahead and get this stuff opened up and let you have a look at it again I have not seen it so you're gonna see it as I do um, this nursery I've been getting plants from I've been knocking it out of the park so I expect good things um, I'm going to try to talk a little bit louder for maybe my phone's crapping out but I've had a couple people that watch my videos lately say they're having a hard time hearing me so again I'll talk a little bit louder anyways like I said I'm going to try to move through this quick some of the stuff I keep in here, here on a regular basis this is one of them Italian Valisinaria these are really nice specimens Italian Vals um, these will get taller than this. The blade width, the leaf width will get a little bit wider. Not too much wider, but they will get taller. So Italian valves. Okay. Kleiner bar swords. Um, I got these in last week. They proved to be pretty popular, so I ordered six more. I already have some sold. So Kleiner bar swords. They're just another sword. Pretty nice specimens here. Right. I like them a lot better. A lot of people get Amazon, but a lot of your local stores carry Amazon swords because they're common. They're usually inexpensive, but there's so much more when it comes to swords. like crap. These are jungle valves. I'm going to set these aside. These are not good. And so I won't have jungle valves this week. I'll take a picture. Um, hopefully I'll get credit on them. It's kind of hard to tell. These are definitely friggin' melted. You get it, they're a little squishy. So, I'm not gonna throw them out because they will grow. No problem, they will grow, but I'm gonna, they're not up to par for normal quality. Lucky bamboo. Great, easy plant to actually just plug it into uh, your your hang on the back filter, um, a, a short shallow tank, and let it grow out the top. Or you could just put it in uh, in another cup and hang it on the side of your tank. A lot of people like putting them in there, hang on the back filters. Lucky bamboo. Potted dwarf hair grass. Dwarf hair grass. These are special ordered. These are nice pots. Ooh, these guys. This is this will this is grown immersed. Um, it will shorten up as you as it converts. So potted dwarf hair grass. Very very nice. Full full pots. You can see this. Nice full pots. Corkscrew Rush. These are the smaller cups, smaller than I got before. Um, pots, I mean. These are two-inch pots, but very, very cool. Um, 
pond plant, marginal plant, corkscrew rust. Ah, these are nice. I got these special order for um, for a friend of mine, Mike. These are another marginal. These are called Bloody Dock. Alright? So, like I said, these are already sold. They're pretty nice. Um, but this will give you an idea of some of the stuff I can get. I can pretty much get any pond plant that you want. Any marginal that you want. Blue pickerel. These are ordered for somebody. White pickerel. Dwarf cattails. These are ordered in for somebody. Another bloody dock. Another pot of dwarf cattails. Pretty nice stuff. Again, corkscrew rush. Got two of those. Thought I ordered three. Oh well. So, just set these aside. Water Sprite. Hopefully this looks alright. Yeah, it does. That looks pretty good. These are considered medium sized water sprite. This is a uh, uh, Indian fern. These will you could either float these or you could plant them. These were these were grown planted, as you can see, the, the root base here. But you could also just float them, and they'll grow very easy. Super easy, low-tech plant. Just rock wool, I pot some of my own pot uh, plants. Ah. Got a bunch of these in last week, and they sold out. Um, trapdoor snails. From what I read online, these are good on algae. Um, they get pretty big, as you can see. Trapdoor snails. Look them up online. Let's see if they give the genus and species here. Uh, actually, the, the, the genus is just Viviparis and then species. So I don't know exactly which uh, Viviparis it is. So if you look them up online, I know. The information that I that I've read on these is that they're they're good on algae. Um, you keep them outside; they're good at low temps. Um, so again, I got a bunch last week, and they sold out. So I expect the same from these. Selling them out. Trapdoor snail. Oh yes. This was specially ordered. This is Hardy Lilies for uh, a friend of mine. These are Colorado Peach. Mike, these are nice. Your wife's really going to like these. Be real gentle. Red stems. Wow. The Colorado peach. Look at the bottom of the plant, of the leaf. Then you get a marble. You got a marble in the in the leaf there. These are really nice. I got two of these. They're special ordered. It's a hardy water lily. So these are for outdoor outdoor tubs, outdoor ponds. Okay. Water lettuce. This is a tub plant, um, pond plant. This ain't your dwarf water lettuce. These are your big, it's like a head of lettuce. So, you want a head of lettuce? I got it. Water lettuce. I mean, but this looks like something you're going to get uh, at your local grocery store. Alright? So, big head of romaine right here. Water lettuce. Not for indoors. I mean, super high light, um, meaning sunshine. Crinum calamistratum. 
easily my favorite. Wow, these are nice. That that's the shit right there. Oops, sorry. Sprinum calamastratum. These will branch up and be longer. These leaves will get 20, 24 inches long, right? Sprinum calamastratum. Hornwort, a staple in the hobby, one of the most common, probably been around the hobby, probably one of the longest as far as live plants. These got squished a little bit, but they're fine. They'll fluff up once you get them wet. Bunches of hornwort provide great cover. These are a great plant for sucking up uh, excess nitrates. All right. So you can get plants in your tank that help consume excess nitrates. It also combats algae. Actually more in here than what I thought. American sponge plants, some people call these frog bit, but they're not the floating frog bit that some people think of. You can grow these in your aquarium or you can grow them outside. The leaves, will, the leaves will come up and you'll get a lily type leaf on the surface. So American sponge plant, very cool, very nice. Water hyacinths, these definitely are an outdoor tub or pond plant, water hyacinths. Some people try to grow these in, inside. They need um, really high light if you want to try to grow them inside. Um, really not worth the trouble. These are fairly inexpensive plants. Um, I don't try to save them. At, at the end of pond season, tub season, I toss these in uh, my compost pile. Some people try to save them again, but you need really high light, so it's not worth the electricity bill. Water hyacinths. I don't have a lot. I only got a dozen here, so they'll probably sell out pretty quick. Tiger Lotus. These are just the bulbs. If you, oops. If you want to save a buck, get them as their uh, while they're bulb. Can't guarantee that they're that they're going to grow a plant, but I have really high success rate with the bulbs that I get from this nursery. Um, once I put them in my tank and they start to grow, depending on the plant size, it's going to affect the price of the plant. So get them. I got to dig down there. I dropped a few. So, tiger lotus bulbs. I have tiger lotus growing out right now. So if you want a plant, I have them. I have a lot of plants in stock, just to let you know, um, as is. This is just a, a reorder, restock. Anubia species large. nice specimens here. This one's getting ready to flower. So, this looks like it's a Nandi. This is a Lanceolata. It's either Congenesis or Nandi. Same thing. Pretty nice. Nice big leaves. Nubius. I just ordered these as assorted, so I don't know the exact species unless I take time to look at them really, really close. Just a red species of hardy water lily. Again, this was ordered. This was special order for a local customer. Very nice. Nice. Hardy water lily. Look at the colors. The bottom of these. Nice reddish pink color. It's hard to tell on the video, I, I know nice bright green on top. Pretty, pretty nice. Okay. Here's another hardy water lily. This is a, a yellow species. It's got to be 
don't look so great. So this is this could be a house plant or a marginal plant. This is called a sensitive plant. I've grown these out before. When you touch the leaves, they uh, it glows up. These actually don't look too good, so I'm not gonna list these. Okay. So that's two out of this order. It's not too good. So far, the the, the jungle bow looks like crap, and the sensitive plants look like crap. But other than that, we're looking good. Cryptocarine lucens clumps. This is a very popular plant that that I keep in stock here. This is a clump. I sell this as a clump, but there's at least five plants in this one clump. One, two, three, four, five. Actually, six in this one that I just grabbed, grabbed randomly. Cryptocrine loosens, low tech, low light, easy, easy plant. I love these plants. Um, people say, oh, I just wore the green. Cool leaf shape, nice green color, easy. You get like a maroon, um, reddish color stem. So there's more than just green in this. I love crypts. Um, Crinum calamistratum is my favorite. But as far as the species in general, cryptocurrency, I love them. Nubius nana petite, probably one of the most popular plants that I sell here. This is called a cute little plant, Nubius nana petite. Don't even know how many I got. I got 15 in stock, so we'll be a span of the tea. Put these away. They won't get much taller than that, but they'll spread out horizontally. We're almost done here. Oh, let me see. Uh, moss ball. All right, these last two things is all I got. I got two clumps of green wavy boots. All right, you guys are familiar with boots? Well, some of you might be. Uh, this doesn't look good. Oh. Yeah. That one doesn't look good. This one doesn't look good, so I don't have boots. Crap. The fucking leaves are poop. Sorry. The leaves are milk. Alright. Last plant. So no boots, no jungle bow, no sensitive plant this week. Even though they're here, they're not good. Moss balls. These are good. You can't harm these things. Great in beta tanks. Um, well, they're popular in beta tanks. You can put them in almost any tank. Shrimp love them because they'll, these will actually collect um, little particles of food and whatnot, and shrimp like hanging out on them, and then just pick through them and, and eat the, the good stuff that's growing on them. They won't eat the, the the plant, which is this is actually not a plant. If you look it up on uh, online, it's actually a form of algae, but it's not the. It's a, it's a nice form of algae, I'll just put it that way, I ain't getting all technical because um, I'm not a technical person, but anyways, some moss balls, and that's all I got this week, so this was actually the first unboxing that I did where I had a couple issues, um, but overall the plants look great, except for the three that I mentioned, um, and I won't list those um, on my Facebook page. 
If you want to see what I got, just message me at uh, www.facebook.com backslash KJE Aquatics. All right, find me on Facebook. Just search KJE Aquatics on Facebook. You can also message me at uh, KJE Aquatics at gmail.com. Anyways, that's all I got. Uh, thanks for watching, and I'll check y'all out later. Peace.